Steve Finn, cricketer turned golfer, at least for the day, or at least kind of. Um, are you enjoying yourselves here at Brockett Hall being taught how to play golf by Charles Schwarzel, no less? It's nice to be able to talk by someone who knows something about golf. Obviously, he's a fantastic player, and you know, I, I'm not the greatest golfer in the world. In fact, I'm terrible. I haven't played for about eight months, so it's. Excuses, you know, excuses yeah, pouring excuses. out. I got the excuses in before I'd hit a ball. Um, and if you look at the tee box there, I've got the tee box on as well. So, it's, you know, I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed today, and, and hopefully, I've took something from it. Now, you're, you're an England cricketer, so you'll all be very competitive. Um, Strauss, Strauss is the golfer, isn't he? I imagine. Yeah. I mean, just, we just guess that actually. Yeah, Strauss is the golfer, but he's got the putting hips at the moment, so he's he can't sink two footers. So if you're anyone, smiling as you're saying that, by the if way. If anyone's playing against him, make sure he sinks all his putts because he's liable to miss. Is that right? Okay. And the other golfers, if you're not including yourself? Uh, yeah, not myself. Anderson, Bell, Trot, uh, Collingwood. When he was in the team, was a very good golfer. Um, yeah, it's, lots of the batsmen tend to be the better golfers. Um, about bowlers tend to be more cowboys. Is that without putting words in your mouth? Because batters don't have to put in the hard work that the bowlers do. Got a bit more time maybe to hone their <laughs> hone their extracurricular skills. I wouldn't say that. I mean, the bowlers have plenty of time off um, <laughs> when the batsmen are when the batsmen are doing their thing. You know, it's again we. We enjoy our golf when we're away on tour, we take clubs with us and, and it's a nice day out to relax. Now, Swanee thinks he's very talented at pretty much everything, everything. Um, including his inordinate number of tweets. You seem to get involved in some of those, often um, on the brunt of some of his, his tweets. Any comment on that? Um, no. Graham Swan needs to fire up his ego somehow. Um, he, needs to, he needs to make himself feel good because he must feel terrible when he looks in the mirror and and looks at himself every morning so he chooses me as a as a vehicle to be able to vent his frustration and, and if that makes him happy then so be it. Smacks of jealousy to me from his <laughs> side. I mean Yeah he's, yeah he can be a jealous man. He's uh, he wishes he was twenty three again I think. Now we're talking about sport, basketball. Who's the best basketball player in the England setup? Well I'd like to say me. I think Chris Tremlett's actually a I don't know why I've got that I'm sure he's talked about basketball before so he Sure well, he's talked about it, but you, he's taught the talk. You've walked the walk, haven't you? Explain. Well, explain. Come I've on. I've played two games of county basketball for Hertfordshire, and on the second one, I, you know, I was given a playbook to learn the plays, and I hadn't learned the plays, and I was called onto the pitch and told we were doing Green Vegas, and I had no idea what was going on. And that was a play, is it? Yeah, that was a play. Right. The play was Green Vegas. And I got substituted straight after the play because I didn't know what was going on. Now we better talk about cricket, hadn't we, very, very briefly. Here's a man who, um, youngest player ever to play for Middlesex, correct? Beating uh, the great Fred Titmus. Uh, youngest Englishman to reach 50 wickets. Yeah. Uh, leading wicket taker in the Ashes um, until they, they dropped you. Um, but you're not quite in the team. Now, is that frustrating or is that actually, well, that shows where the England team are right now, that you've got to be top form to be in it and to stay in it. Yeah, it's obviously you have to be in top form to stay in it and, uh, and retain your place. So it's obviously frustrating that I'm not quite in the team at the moment uh, or I'm a bit in and out. Um, it's something that obviously I want to rectify and want to want to play as much as I can for England. Um, and hopefully over the course of the summer I can push a claim for selection. I was talking to Freddie Flintoff uh, the other day and he said the England strength in depth is so good now that he reckons the the second eleven, or rather, you know, you could pick a, another eleven who are not, say, who didn't play in the first test against the West Indies. He said they'd be the third or fourth best team in the world. Yeah, it's, you know, we're blessed with with some good talent at the moment. We're blessed with young players such as Johnny Bairstow being able to come in and hold their own in Test match cricket, which is, you know, it's a great thing to have for English cricket. Um, and and the more. The more young players and good young players that we produce as a country, the better stead the, uh, the national team is going to be in. And being a, a young player, as you are, uh, you'd be aware more than most of, of the young talent that there is. And there's, there's a lot of other guys out there knocking on the door, ready to, to, to take their opportunity, I guess. Uh, there's plenty of guys. It's, again, we're very blessed with the, with the young players and talented players that we have in our system. Um, I think county cricket's helped that massively. Um, and, and obviously, moving forward, it's going to be important that the young players are able to step up to the plate and and um, and are able to to do their thing out on the international stage. And I think that uh, the setup that we have at the moment encourages that.